I thought I should share a few th interesting things with you about our rootstock trial. I'm out taking some pictures before harvest on our rootstock block, which was impacted by the freeze back in April. And um, just showing you the middle of our blocks, which is mid hill and showed the least amount of damage um, or is kind of intermediate on the damage and um, wanted to show you some rootstocks. So we're going to start out with own rooted Pinot Noir. So this is own rooted Pinot Noir. This is Vadensville or Pinot Noir 2A on its own roots in our block three. These five vines, one, two, three, four, five. So the fruit can give you an idea. And these are 20 plus years old. I think it was planted in 1997. I know it was planted in 1997. Um, so 25 years old. So this is Pinot Noir 2A own rooted. So to give you an idea, Right next door to the Pinot Noir Own Rooted is 1103P or 1103 Pulsen. Big canopies. In fact, before I came through, I had to tuck a few laterals into the canopy. So five vines here, starting one, two, three, four, five. Big canopies, you almost can't see the fruit even though it was uh, leaf pulled. You can see the beautiful Pinot Noir clusters there. Here we are in Rip G or Riparia Glor rootstock. It's known as a devigorating rootstock right next to that 1103 Holson. I'm literally walking up the row of our block, the five vines here. So we have vine one, two, three, four, five. Smaller canopies, less green. Here we're at 125 AA. That's the rootstock. Not very common in Oregon, but included in our trial. Nice big canopies. Don't look like they're taking a beating at all. Uh, much like the 1103 Pulsen, at least just by looking at observationally. Five vines. One, two, three, four, five. So here we are with SO4 rootstock. One of the most widely grown rootstocks in the world. And we have five vines. So one, two, three, four, five. So you can see nice big canopies. Maybe not as much fruit as that 1103 Pulsen or 125 AA. So this is 110R Pinot Noir grafted onto 110R. Five vines. One, two, three, four, five. Up the row. Again, big canopies. We have 5C. Doesn't look that much different than 110R. Big canopies again. Five vines. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Up the row. Now this rootstock is a little odd. Not too many have heard of it. It's a German rootstock called Borner or Bornier. Five vines in a row. One two, three, four, five, up the hill. This is 140R, five vines in a row. One, two, three, four, five, up the row. This is rootstock 5BB. So Pinot Noir on 5BB, kind of interesting here. The rootstock is actually growing. There's its leaves from that rootstock. This is the first of the five vines. One, two, three, four, five, up the hill. This is a pretty vigorous row in this block um, as, a, as a function of the rootstocks. This is rootstock 8 B. So Pinot Noir on 8B, five vines in a row. This is 420A rootstock. So again, Pinot Noir on 420A, five vines in a row.
This is rootstock 16149. Not very common, but we have it in our trial. Five vines in a row. This is Schwartzman. So some vineyards in Oregon have this, not too many, it's not as vigorous as some of the previous uh, rootstocks I just showed you. You can see it uh, more yellow canopy, a little bit less growth, five vines in a row shown here. And this is uh, 3309, so common rootstock for Oregon. The next five vines. Not as vigorous as you can see, of course, it's vigor reducing compared to some of the other rootstocks we have in this trial. You can see the canopies are not as, not as tall, not as thick, which is a good thing, and a little less green here in this late time of the season. This is Pinot Noir on 10114, a rootstock very common, or common to Oregon. Five vines in a row here. Here we have Pinot Noir on rootstock 99R, R for Richter, so 99R, next five vines in a row. Pretty big canopies. Here we have Pinot Noir on rootstock 1616. This is one of the most vigorous of, uh, of rootstocks in our trial. And I know a number of people have questioned why it's so vigorous when it's known to be a low vigor rootstock. We're still trying to understand this. This is a dry farm site and this is 1616. It's a beast. I'm gonna back up here even a little bit to show you that full canopy there on those five vines up to that line post. This is the rootstock Gravisock. Five vines in a row there. And last but not least, in just this one block of the very large rootstock trial we have here at OSU, this last one is 4453. Five vines in a row there. And one thing many of you know who do grow this is that it's usually showing magnesium deficiency symptoms and most of our canopy looks great. Not very much of that red coloration, although we do see a little bit of it here on this shoot and here just that the red edge of the leaf. But most of the leaves look pretty good at this point.